Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. What you're looking at on the screen right now is a video landing page. In fact, it's from one of my templates. I'm gonna show you how to build one of these, how to build a web page or a landing page that has a moving video in the background. It's really easy to do, but there's a couple of tricks to it uh, to make it go smoothly. So let's do that. So I'm gonna close this preview and let's start making one. So here I have a blank canvas open, a new project, a 90 second website builder, and we're gonna make a video background. First thing we wanna do is talk about video, um, YouTube video, that's what we're gonna be using as a YouTube video. And normally when you place a video, a YouTube video on your canvas, and you may already know this, you just grab the YouTube tool, you drag a box out here, and then you put in the address or the URL uh, for this video. That's easy, easy enough, and that's what you would do. You'd go get the URL from the YouTube website, paste it in here, and you're good to go. Using a video in the background is a little bit different, it's, and there's a couple more steps to it, and I'm gonna show you what those are. So don't get confused by using this tool as opposed to a background video. So we're not gonna use this tool. Instead, what we're going to do is we're gonna create a layer because our background video actually has to live in a layer. It's not technically in the background of the page, even though you can make it look like it is. So what we'll do is we're gonna get the layer tool right here, and we're going to stretch it out however big we want it. We'll adjust that later. And we're gonna double click on the layer and go to the Style tab. And you'll notice that one of your background options for the layer, besides solid and image and all this good stuff, is video. So that's what we're gonna be working with. Now, you'll also notice that in the instructions in this box, it says supported YouTube URL. So also, this works with Vimeo, by the way. But supported URL. In other words, not the one you think, but there's a special kind of URL that you'll get from YouTube to put in here, and that's what I'm gonna show you. So we gotta go get that. Before we do, let's go over to YouTube and see what that looks like. So now I'm at the YouTube website, and I found the video that I wanna put in my background. It's this landing, or this uh, Earth view for a landing page video, it's kinda cool. Now normally, if you've used YouTube videos before, like I said, you just get the URL, which is what this is up here. If we were just gonna paste a video onto our page, we'd get this address but we have to do something a little bit different for a background, and I'll show you what that is. I'm gonna move the camera down so you can see that I'm going down to the part of the page on YouTube where it says Share, and that brings up a couple of options here. You'll also notice there's a URL here that's slightly different syntax than the one up here, but these do the same thing. This is just a shortened version of the one up here, but we want a different URL altogether. It's called an embed link. So we're gonna click embed, and you'll see that it has this really long snippet of code. Inside this snippet of code is the embed link that we wanna use. Now all you need to do, you don't need to pay attention to any of these options here, 90 Second Website Builder is gonna take care of those for you by default. All you need is the actual URL, the address, the one that has the word embed in it and also contains the video ID number. That's all you need. So we're just gonna copy this whole thing because it's easier to clean it up in the software, but we're just gonna do a control C or copy however you wanna copy that. And let's go back to 90 Second Website Builder, go back into our layer and let's put in where we have style, background video, where we wanna put our supported URL. I'm just gonna paste the whole thing in there and show you what I'm doing. This is the whole piece of code, and all we want is the embed URL. So let's go to the very beginning of this here. You can see that the URL begins right here. So we don't need any of the stuff before this. I'm just gonna backspace this out. This is the part we want, the URL, all the way to the end of it. There's some other stuff down here we don't want. The end of the URL ends where the video ID number is. So that's this right here. As soon as you see the question mark, that means everything beyond this is a variable and a bunch of stuff you don't want. So we're just going to strip all that away and we're left with a very plain embed code. So the difference between this code and the regular code is that word embed. And it's really important because it has certain controls in it that you need to make this a really clean background video. So what this is really made up of, it's pretty simple. It's the YouTube address, obviously, the word embed, and then simply 
the video ID number because every YouTube video has an ID number. So this is all you need, these three pieces. In fact, if we went back to YouTube, you could technically do it this way. You could just get this code, this video ID number, if you prefer doing it this way, and you could just make your own by putting in the YouTube address, slash embed, slash, and then that code. That's what we want to end up with anyway. So a couple different ways to get to it, but this is how, this is what you're looking for. All right, so now once we've done that, pretty much done, and you can see there's our video inside our little layer. Let's do a quick preview. We're gonna adjust the size of it here in a minute, but let's just see that it works, and it does. So there's our, there's our video. Obviously it's too small for background, so we're gonna fix that, but at least we know that it works. Okay, so let's close our preview here, and let's make the layer bigger. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to fill the full screen, so I'm gonna drag the layer all the way over to the edge. I've got this set about right there. And I want it to be vertically. I want it to fill the screen as well. So we'll do that. This is a nice big video. So we can pull it all the way down here. And that's nice enough. So let's see what that looks like. We're going to do an F5 again. And now we've made it bigger. And it goes all the way to the edge of my website. Now, you'll also notice, though, this is, I'm not quite done because even though I made it as wide as the pages, it's not relative to the size of the browser yet because we didn't do any of that. But my video's working. It's the size I want it. Now let's make it relative. So I'm going to close this preview again, go back to the software, and we're going to go into the layer properties where we're going to set it to relative horizontal sizing. That means we want this layer to be relative to the size of the browser. So however wide the browser is, we want this layer to relate to it or be relative to it horizontally. In other words, side to side. That's what relative horizontal sizing means. That's a fancy way of saying we're going to fill the screen width all the way. So let's check that box, click OK, do another preview, and now you'll see it looks much better because it fills the width of the browser, right? So there's no white space on the edge, in other words. So that's really what we're looking for. Okay, so that's pretty much what you need if you wanna make a video background landing page. And then we can put all kinds of content on top of this because this is just a layer. So layers can have text and images and buttons and anything else you want on top of this. So that's pretty much all it takes. Now let's go the next step and let's make this responsive. Since most of us are gonna be building responsive websites, how would we do that? So let me close this preview. And let's talk about responsiveness. Remember, when you make your page responsive, we gotta add breakpoints. Right now I have one here at nine something, 960, I think it is. But let's add a breakpoint. I'm going to down to my uh, responsive tools down here in the bottom corner. I'm gonna click this. And let's add a couple of breakpoints. We'll add one at 768, and then we'll make one at say, whoops, 768, let's add that. And then let's add another one at 320, just for the sake of this demonstration. All right, so now I'm gonna go back up here, move the camera back up here so you can see these little arrows. So here's my 320. I'm currently in the 320 breakpoint. Here's my 768, and then if I click the default button, here's my default. Okay, so there's the big page, desktop, and then my tablet size, or my 768 size. If I want this to be responsive, very simply, I work in this breakpoint and change the size of the layer. I'm just gonna grab the edge of it and drag it in to fit that. Remember, it's relative to the width of the browser, so it's gonna be relative to 768 for this one. And if we go to the uh, 320 breakpoint, I wanna make it even smaller yet. I'm gonna go like this, and there we have it. Now, since this is really narrow, I probably don't want it this tall, right? Watch what happens. I'm going to make it less tall, shorter, and you'll see that it actually scales the video down, which is really good. It's really important to know that it's scaling it. And so the 320 version of this page is gonna show a video like this. The 768, I can click on the arrow to get there. I can make this a little bit smaller too to be a little bit more in the right ratio, say, something more like that. And then my default, 
my larger one has a different aspect ratio. All right, so now let's try that one more time. We're gonna preview. Here's our full-sized background video in our layer. And if I change the width of the browser, so if somebody was to view this on a tablet or something that was at 768, it would look like this. See how it changed? And it fits the ratio correctly because we've made it responsive. Now, you'll notice that there's white space down here. If I don't want that, I just make the video bigger in my 768 breakpoint. And that's all there is to it. It's easy to give the illusion of a page having a background by using the layer. Just remember to get the correct URL, the embed URL. And then if you want it to be responsive or you want it to scale down, make sure you make your responsive breakpoints. That's how you add a background video to your page in 90 Second Website Builder.